SoFi is a financial services company that partners with six different physical banks, including Wells Fargo, to federally insure your money up to $1.5 million. It was founded in 2011, and it started offering student loan refinancing, among other financial products, in the following few years. Then, in 2019, they launched SoFi Money and SoFi Invest. SoFi Money is a cash management account, meaning it combines the features of checking, savings, and investment accounts into one. They currently have over 1 million members, and those members pay zero fees for their SoFi Money account. If you direct deposit over $500 per month, then your account balance will earn 0.25% interest, which is over four times the national average of 0.06%, according to bankrank.com. If you like to earn higher interest rates, then online accounts like SoFi are the way to go. Hey, just call me Cal. I cover topics that save and earn you money. In this video, I'll review the SoFi Money account. I've been using this as my primary account for the last two years and we are about to deep dive into what SoFi has to offer. If you want to see more in-depth reviews like this, please like and subscribe. There is so much this account does right, so let's start with that. SoFi introduced a feature recently that gives you access to your paycheck two days in advance if you have direct deposit set up. I've been seeing my check show up two days earlier than my coworkers consistently since the announcement. I was getting paid every Thursday and now I'm getting paid every Tuesday. Vaults are like having small separate accounts within your main SoFi account, similar to creating a separate savings and checking account, except you can create unlimited vaults anytime and move money between them. I've been using the autosave feature to set aside 10% of each direct deposit for my emergency fund. You can change it to save a certain dollar amount also. You could try using the roundup feature which will round each purchase to the nearest dollar amount and add the change to a specific vault. I don't save that way because I use SoFi credit card for most of my purchases. There's a setting called spending reserve that you can turn on to cover transactions on your account by using the money in your largest vault. If you turn it off, then you will run the risk of your transactions declining for insufficient funds if your spending balance is running low. It's best to leave this setting turned off if you want to protect your savings from overspending. SoFi has been offering some decent signup bonuses. You will get a $100 signup bonus if you receive over $1,000 in direct deposits over a 30 day period. Also, if you sign up using my link in the description, then we will both receive $25. For you, that's a total of $125. You can actually earn up to 15% cash back just by using your debit card. You will need to manually activate the offers in the app before earning the bonus rates. The offers are mostly available at small stores and restaurants and they are constantly changing. You're getting access to a family of financial products, all accessible from the SoFi app. You get SoFi money, credit card, investing, and loans. Each are integrated with one another and set up to be used together. For example, I automatically redeem cash back I earn from SoFi credit card into SoFi money, and I automatically use those funds from SoFi money to transfer into SoFi invest. This is a big deal because most people have a confusing patchwork of apps and companies they use for their financial services. I open one app where each account is aware of the other and funds are easy to find and immediately transferable. They give you incentives just to open and use the app. These activities will add points to your cash back total. I regularly earn points for app logins, paying bills, direct deposits, and investing. There are no account fees. That includes the big ones like account monthly minimums and overdraft fees. Sadly, a bank rate study found the average checking account holder pays $7.69 per month in fees. They also give you an additional $50 in overdraft protection free of charge if you qualify. And you won't pay any ATM fees as long as you use the all point network of 55,000 ATMs worldwide. I have never paid a fee during my two years of using this account. 
Customer service is based in the US and available by phone and live chat. I've used live chat a few times and had a good experience. When you ask a question, the virtual assistant will try to answer it from information that's already available on the website. And it will even insert a link to specific web pages for you. I usually reach a human agent instantly or within a couple minutes and their responses were helpful. For this review, I tried calling in and it took seven minutes to reach an agent. I suggest using live Live chat since it seems to be quicker and doesn't require you to hold or give immediate responses, which lets you multitask. The SoFi credit card is my most used card because you get a flat 2% cash back on all of your purchases when you redeem it into a qualifying account. The account I use is my SoFi money account. I even automated the process by using the auto redeem feature to receive my cash back on the first of each month. So far I've earned over $276 using the SoFi credit card, so there's definitely money to be made here. If you're interested in the SoFi credit card, I'll leave a link in the description and if you get approved using my link we will both get four percent cash back for 30 days they are not Better Business Bureau accredited, but score an A plus from the Better Business Bureau for their interactions with customers. SoFi scores 3.2 stars on Trustpilot, they score 3.4 stars on Consumer Affairs, and the SoFi app has a 4.8 star rating in the iPhone App Store and 4.4 stars in the Google Play Store. Also, SoFi has a few cons that typically plague online accounts. This account is not cash friendly, and some of the largest cons are centered around that fact. You can deposit a physical check with the mobile app, but depositing cash is a bit harder. There are thousands of retailers that support cash deposits, but there is a $5 fee and a $500 transaction limit. It can also take up to two hours for the deposit to show up in your account. The daily ATM cash withdrawal limit is $1,000. If you buy expensive items with cash frequently, then you will either need to withdraw $1,000 per day from the ATM until you have enough cash or transfer the money to a bank with physical branches that you can go into. The interest rate that SoFi gives you is far above the industry average, but you can find even better rates with other online banks like Ally Bank, which gives you 0.5% interest. That doubles SoFi's offering. So I'm curious, do you think SoFi is the future of banking? And who do you currently bank with? Please let me know down in the comments. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time and you have a good one.